Hey, this is Jason, registered sleep tech. I just want to go over exactly how CPAP works. I did a video on how CPAP works and there were still some questions about it. Um, they wanted to know where the air went. Uh, they wanted to know how everything was uh, connected. And uh, hopefully this will show you a little more exactly where the air goes and what's occurring with CPAP. Um, CPAP works using a pneumatic splint. So what this is, is much like how your the weight of the car is held up by a column of air inside of your tire, that is how CPAP works. So let's look at some of the, anatom an the anatomical features of this. So this is going to be our normal guy. Here's his nose and lip. This is going to be a soft palate right here. Then we're going to have uh, his jaw and throat. And then this jaw, he's got his tongue right here. And then let's see. So this is going to be his, if that's a soft palate. And this is his, the nasal cavity. And that goes into the throat. So we have air that can come in here. So this is all called negative pressure. This is all air space here. That's normal. They're sleeping and all this stuff is open. That is perfect. <clears throat> so, what is abnormal? Well, I think you need to go to Walmart to see that. <laughs> so we have a nose again. And we have our soft palate. Then we're going to have our tongue again. And remember, this is abnormal, so our tongue has slid back. Wonk. So this part right here, by the way, would be like the uvula, soft palate, all that tissue that would sag during an apnea. And we have our jaw and our neck. Then we have our nasal cavity and the airway, oh my God, it's been collapsed on. What the hell? So all this open space here, it's being blocked right here and it's being blocked right here. So we're get, getting no, no air in. That is a blocked airway. Boo. So what does CPAP do exactly? Well, it takes this guy here and it turns him into a happy camper. So again, we have our nose. Maybe that looks more like my nose, long and friggin' disgusting. And then we have, oops, this is our nasal cavity again. Should probably draw it in the order I've been doing it, huh? So we have our soft palate. The tongue. Chin. Airway. And so we're gonna pretend like this guy is on a full face mask. Or gal. That's roughly the shape of it, right? straps on their head so all that is positive pressure going up through there this is like the car tire in our example because both systems are closed we have the both entrance and exit 
points right here and here, boom and boom, only positive pressure is getting in. So this is effectively being inflated. So one interesting thing, well, basically that's, that's how it works. <laughs> Um, once you get to the appropriate pressure, if it's not enough pressure, it'll still look like this here in the blocked airway. It'll be, you know, just a little bit of an opening. But once you get it um, to the right pressure, it's going to look like this normal again. And it's going to look good. All right, don't forget to join my forum, freecpapadvice.com, or the forum is freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum. Hopefully this answered any questions you've had about the pneumatic splint and CPAP, which works for BiPAP as well, any of the positive airway pressure modalities, this is what is going on. You can see how mouth leaking or mass leaking can be detrimental to this.